Hello, my name is Mrs. Smith, and I am the new art teacher here at Sprague. And welcome to the virtual art show. I am so delighted to present such beautifully created artwork that the students made this school year. It was such a joy getting to know the students virtually and in person. I hope you enjoy the first grade artwork, and I really encourage you to check out the kindergarten and second grade virtual art show videos as well. On the next two slides, there are art projects that we focused on this year. The first project we did was the line pumpkin. The first graders learned about the element of art, line. During art, we discussed all the different types of lines, wavy, zigzag, diagonal, spiral, vertical, horizontal, curved, and etc. The students would practice the lines with their finger, then draw the different types of lines on their project. We discussed the season of fall and talked about the weather and how it changes. The leaves the leaves change color, uh, the different types of plants and the vegetables that grow during this time, such as pumpkins. The students did a step-by-step -step drawing of a pumpkin. Then they got to draw the different types of lines using patterns on the sections of the pumpkin. The last step of the project, this, they learned about warm colors, red, yellow, and orange. And they used those colors inside the pumpkin. For the stem, and the vines and the leaves, they colored in with the cool color, which is green. Then the next project they learned about was the three musicians, which was inspired by the artist Pablo Picasso. So the students learned about the artist Pablo Picasso and how he created the art movement Cubism. They looked at the artwork, the three musicians, and learned about how to make people and objects abstract. The fir uh, they first drew the different body parts only using geometric shapes that have points, like um, for example, squares, triangles, rectangles, and etc. They avoided any geometric shape that had curved edges, for example, circle, oval, and heart. The class then had a discussion about different types of musical instruments, and they were they, they were to choose three different instruments for the three cubist uh, musicians. After the students were done with their drawing, they used different color uh, colored markers to trace the geometric shapes, then colored inside the lines with different colored crayons. The next project we did was the model magic turtle. The students learned about the element of art, texture. They learned about two types of texture, visual, which is also called implied texture, and actual texture. For visual texture, the students took one shoe and did a texture rubbing with a piece of paper and crayon over the design on the bottom of the shoe and learned that it, it, that it looks like there is texture and it's bumpy, but it is a coloring of texture. Actual texture is something that you can feel soft and squishy like Mile Magic. Another element of art that was incorporated was form. The students sculpted the Mile Magic and learned about the steps to form a 3D pinch pot. From the pinch pot, they pinched and stretched the model magic to make the head, arms, legs, and the tail, making a 3D turtle. They finished the project by learning about radial symmetry and adding colorful patterns and designs with markers on the turtle shell and body. Then we learned about the winter bear, which is visual texture. The students continued to learn about visual texture and they did a step-by-step -step drawing of a winter bear. The students then used a new art supply, the oil pastels, to draw strokes of color to make it appear like the fur texture on the bear. The students could choose what type of bear they would like to make, like polar bear, brown bear, black bear, etc. They then learned about the Northern Lights called the auroras and finished the artwork by adding colorful oil pastels in the sky. The last project we did was the cityscape. The students learned about different watercolor painting uh, techniques and learned about warm colors, red, yellow, and orange to use for the sunset and cool colors, which is blue, green, and purple for the water. Then the students looked at different, different cities and learned about geometric shapes that they saw. 
They made their own city, making sure to draw each building different. They then used watercolor paint to paint the windows using different patterns, making it a colorful city. I just want to thank all of the students for putting all of their heart and love into their artwork to make this a wonderful show. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.